Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at LobbyTools.com. Watch out, Florida. The Seminole Tribe hasn't been shy about their opposition to citizen initiatives seeking to expand gambling in the state. Say no to the gambling petitions. The tribe has funneled $10 million into Standing Up for Florida, a political committee advocating against the initiatives. The committee is also at the center of a lawsuit brought by those backing one of the petitions, which would expand casino gaming in Florida. Time isn't on the side of the groups trying to get the citizen initiative on the ballot. They've got just 20 days to collect nearly 650,000 more signatures. The backers of the citizen initiative say vendors paid by Standing Up for Florida have made that goal nearly impossible. They claim the vendors have intimidated some petition gatherers and paid others to leave the state or stop collecting signatures. They're being paid simply to not work for the plaintiffs and being paid, in fact, to leave the state. The vendors being sued argued the case should be dismissed, saying it's not illegal to poach employees from another company by offering more competitive pay. That's exactly what the plaintiffs are asking the court to do, to make a hiring restriction that would say, Burger King, you can't hire employees from McDonald's. The judge, however, decided to let the case proceed. I'm going to deny the motion to dismiss. A hearing on the merits of the case is scheduled for this coming Tuesday, and the ultimate ruling could determine whether Florida voters get to weigh in on the expansion of gaming next November. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Jake Stofan.